Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is yet another meeting of the Kate's Infra Team, October twelfth. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we are recording this, so please, you know, speak appropriately. Um, so we do have an agenda. Um, I think uh, I don't know if we have quorum. Uh, do we wait for somebody else, or can we get going? It's, I think uh, we're good. Okay, let's get going. So uh, on the agenda, the first thing that I have is uh, me and Aaron had a quick chat about uh, Charter um, and we discussed a few points. Uh, there is a doc. Uh, please open up that doc. Um, so before we go, oh, well, let's open the doc. Let's go there. Um, so the... <clears throat> The idea here was, uh, can we use external facing services as a list of goals uh, that we would provide to um, the community in general? And I listed uh, six of them at this point. Uh, maybe we can combine a couple of them like uh, GCS, uh, the APT RPM might come at a GCS, for example. Um, maybe I should just do that right now. Uh, or is there any other organization that uh, people can think of? That that was the first thing. Um, um, for RPM NAT, I guess we'd do the same as we're doing as Justin suggesting for COPS, which is S3 and GCS. Right, okay. Um, I've actually started a doc which says exactly the same thing as Justin's pretty much. So i um, probably just gonna merge into his Right. So, so basically what I'm saying is, uh, these are the goals for this working group to provide these services. And I'll ref I'll, you know, say it in a different manner, but, uh, in effect, these are the list of services that we are going to provide. Right. I mean, those are the starting services. Yeah. I, you know, obviously over time, this list changes, right? Yeah. So and basically, these will be like a sub project, right? Okay, For it's us. hard to look at the doc and take notes. Uh, I lost the doc now. Yeah, sorry, I'm mobile, so I can't see the notes either. Okay, I'll paste the. Uh, you know what? Let me share the I was notes. Say sharing sharing would be better for yeah. Great. So I see we call out GKE clusters for running bots, utilities, pro, et cetera. Do you want to call out more of the test infrastructure or is that, because like, I mean, there's, you know, pro, but there, there's a bunch of other stuff. There's like all the clusters we run and test grid and things like that. I don't know if it's worth explicitly calling all that stuff out or if that just kind of falls under one of these already. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, go ahead. Dad. I was just going to say the the sundry like test infrastructure that we run on clusters, I would consider to be the et cetera in this context. Like I think my, uh, and it's tough for me to read this, sorry, but I focus on more of the base level infrastructure before we focus on uh, the test infra stuff that runs on top of all of that. Um, to, to Jeff's point though, uh, the test, a lot of the test infrastructure doesn't specifically run on GKE clusters. It runs on individual GCP projects, right? I, am I interpreting correctly, Jeff? Yeah, it's a whole bunch of projects and we generally aren't necessarily using GKE, it's just GCE VMs. Right. So and I do think that falls under our umbrella. So are you talking about the pool of projects that Boscus manages when we spin up end-to-end -end clusters or more than that? I think that's what we're talking about here. Okay. Yeah, because I would consider this is something that, this is why like when Ben tried to scope out moving Prow and whatnot, it was gonna be a little bit of an extended effort because uh, we wanted to be able to plan it in the context of billing, which is a key requirement for all of these projects is to be able to describe what resources we're using, how and why, and right now, for testing, I think that's spread across a pool of projects that were at one point dedicated to specific things, but are now just kind of uh, test pool projects. So I would consider, like, in the context of 
test infra that we're going to want to talk about, like a project to run some of the infrastructure and then a project that is for hosting all of the cluster, like testing capacity, sort of, right? Yeah, so um, I added, uh, can you guys see the doc uh, now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so I added a pool of compute resources for testing. Uh, would that be a fair way to characterize it? That's great. Okay. And then uh, the, the next thing I wanted, uh, so fine. So le uh, assuming that this looks good. So the things that we need is credential store, um, certificate store and a GitHub repository uh, for storing the artifacts, for requesting new resources. Uh, anything else we need there? to start with, I, again, this is just as a starting point. Yeah, and uh, I mean, even the like credentials and certificate store aren't obvious that we need them just yet, um, but probably will. Right, uh, one example uh, from Stefan was, uh, he's using uh, uh, a Git itself to store uh, uh, Git crypt, I guess, or something like that. Uh, for the publishing bot. So uh, in effect, the information is in Git, but it is encrypted. So may maybe we can st start with the, just that. The information, oh, the credentials for the bot to use? Yeah, publishing bot to use, yes. Okay, yes, all right, P point taken. Yeah, so we can start there and then we, c we can see what, what we, uh, we, we can grow things as we need. So this is something like, you know, we have to figure it out over a period of time. Uh, but we definitely need a Git repository um, and we can get started with that, I think. So we have the kates.io repository, which is where the DNS config lives now. We can continue to use that, um, you know, as the list of things that we want to get checked in grows, we may decide that that doesn't fit the scope. Right, uh, the re one reason, yes, I agree with the artifacts part. Uh, how about for uh, incoming, managing incoming requests? Uh, like for example, the cops folks were asking for, um, you know, uh, access to AD, uh, some AWS uh, infrastructure, right? Or um, a, the cluster API for, cluster API provider for, for AWS, they were asking for, um, some resources to test the code that they're developing. So things like that, uh, we need issues. Right now we use uh, uh, the k.org uh, for the GitHub related issues, right? So what do we use for, for us? So, Sorry, I'm missing, what did they want to check in? So they, they wanted to be able to use AWS to test the cluster API provider project. And so for me, that kind of, falls under, they should file a ticket with test infra to ask to be able to use test infra on AWS. I, I feel like we are not at the point where we want to create some kind of ticketing queue specifically for this working group. I and agree again, with that. Because, because we're a working group, like we don't, <laughs> we don't own code, we should be finding the people or the appropriate groups to to own the, the code for these things. How about for tracking our own work? Can we continue to use Kate's IO for that? I think, yeah, yes. I think that would be great. Okay. And as long as that's what you're asking for, that's fine. It just sounded an awful lot like they had a request. It'd be great if we had a ticketing queue for them. And uh, that's, we're not there yet. The, the other thing that we can possibly do is um, there are like organization level project boards in GitHub. So if you, we wanted to like track requests that were in both Kate's IO or maybe something in test infra, but it's all related to us and we want to track that work together, um, we can do that, contrib X has started doing that. I second it, yep. Okay, and where would the project be in the Kate's repo itself? Uh, you uh, can, yeah, in the uh, Kubernetes org, you can create org level projects and then you can assign permissions to different teams to be able to write or read to them. Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah. So they're not associated with any one specific repo and you can add issues from any repo across the org. Okay. 
And I, I have to mention that these projects are visible only to the org members. And I suppose that's, uh, that's fine in our case. It's probably okay. Uh, we mm -hmm. can make them public as well if we wanted to. Um, ContribX was for a while restricted just to the org because we were just testing out the board, but it is possible completely to make the board public. Um, so uh, the org wide, the org wide yeah. board? Yes. Uh, because approximately a year ago, it was not possible at all. Yes, so... that, that, that is all. Yeah, it's changed. Uh, okay, I get it. I missed it. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So, and then uh, going to how we work. Um, so do we need to vote to establish a sub-project? Uh, we know that we are starting with a few above, but then for anything new. Um, so the tricky thing for me, maybe I'm the only one who cares about the, the details on this, is like working groups don't necessarily own sub-projects because sub-projects are code. What are the efforts that we're focused around? Um, we should figure out like which sig does this thing belong to. Um, and we have representatives from all of the SIGs that this working group cuts across. So I think all of those SIGs should have their charters in place to figure out how they establish sub projects. Historically, I have only seen SIGs choose the tech leads option. Um, I'm behind the ball on getting SIG testing's charter up, but that's the option we're gonna go with as well. Right, uh, but basically the, why I'm asking this question is we need to name at least a few people who are interested in making something happen. Correct. Uh, how, what is the process for making sure that they write up something which somebody else approves? So we can then say, okay, you are blessed and let them go their merry way uh, and uh, add more people, recruit more people to get whatever they need done, done. Right. So for what it's worth, I was thinking that in the context of our charter, we could, we don't necessarily have to hash all this out today, but we can describe that part of the scope of our charter is defining the processes and policies to run and maintain this infrastructure as we hand it over to the CNCF. Potentially, I, I don't know how this group feels about the idea that maybe one day the CNCF takes over management of this stuff or whether this stuff will in, remain managed by the Kubernetes project in perpetuity. It just happens to be funded by the CNCF. I don't think CNCF wants to take ownership of these things. I think the, the position they've taken so far is as um, administrators of the uh, property rights and the business side of things and less about the technical side of things. Um, and I think that's appropriate. I think this needs to be something that we plan to own forever. Okay. Yep, that's that's correct. So we're owning like only the billing side and administration side, and we as CNCF, I mean, but we as the community group, we are owning the uh, the technical uh, the technical side. So you you are working on the technical side. Right, but Ehor, over a period of time, we might actually uh, get some professionals to manage the, these resources, right? Because it's we can't do a bunch of things with the volunteer army here in this uh, game. That can be discussed. Anyway, like the, the intention of this, this movement was to, uh, to move all these assets to the community itself. Right. And uh, the community will manage them. So not CNCF, not Google, but the community. Okay. Understood. But if, if, if at a later date we decide to like, hey, CNCF, can you fund hiring you know, a full-time sysadmin or something to to do this to do this work. Um, we would have the ability to decide that in the future. Yes. Uh, I can cannot say yes, but I cannot say no. So it it, right. it can be discussed, but I I don't see any clear reason why it should not happen. But the model I was thinking of, for example, is how. One day, long, long ago, we used to have Google running its own CLA bot, <clears throat> and then we switched over to the CNCF CLA, and the CNCF has provided a bot for that. They also provide a help disk, which has been tremendously responsive and follows a really well-known script on how to help people with common CLA issues. And so it would be my hope that this group is in charge of developing, roughly speaking, the runbook or playbook, and that we could maybe hand that off at, at one point in time. Yeah, so uh, CNCF can provide some extra resources to the projects. Like, 
you, you probably know Zach uh, from Sigdoc, so right. well, Kubernetes had issues with documentation, so we hired Zach to help the Kubernetes communities with maintaining docs. Right, so, so it's somebody we, funded by the CNCF, but who works under the guise of the project. Correct, correct. But yeah. that's again, like, I'm not a person who makes this decisions, decision, uh, but I, I should say that uh, it can be discussed and I definitely don't see any, any strong restriction why it cannot happen. So let's let's just keep in that in mind. And if one day sure. we'll decide that we should hire a person, we'll discuss that with CNCF specifically. Sure. Uh, for analogy, we already pay other services to host things like the website, right? Like we, we pay money to Netlify to host the site. So I think it seems Correct. appropriate that at some point in the road, if we could scope this to something that a contractor or a service would run, that that would be appropriate. Right. But we'd have to be able to, to scope that clearly. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's right. all I was asking is from a scoping question, is that the goal of this group? I'm not looking for a hard answer from CNCF today, just to understand in the definition, of it, in the context of how we work. I know it's really important that we're kind of in a bootstrapping phase, so like we can't necessarily do things like enforce maximal representation right now, uh, but we aspire to. And so right. like one of the things we aspire to is to be able to hand these things off if, if it makes sense. I mean, I'm sure we have better things to do <laughs> than <laughs> doing this, but this is extremely important for us. So yeah, we need to. Hopefully also by the time we're done, you know, with the migration process that the rest of this becomes a very low impact uh, responsibility. And it's sort of just a service duty that people will pick up and it will consume an hour or two a week and that should be it. Right. <laughs> well, we can hope for that, yes. <laughs> But I was thinking of being able to get to the point where it's well written enough where we have like the contributor role board or whatever, where if you have a well defined role with, with well documented responsibilities, you can ask, hey, if anybody wants to help out doing these specific tasks, like Christoph and I just got two community people to take on um, managing uh, review of org membership requests. Uh, yep. So those sorts of things would be great. Yep. Yep. Great. And we have uh, the CNCF service desk, not be confused with LF help desk, but CNCF service desk where I can you send your requests on uh, hiring contractors, uh, asking for some support from CNCF and some areas and so. Okay. Right. right. So, so I, I didn't mean to rat hole on that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, I think we've, we've spent enough time on this topic. I, I'm I not just, super concerned about it. Yeah. <laughs> so to go back to the broad strokes of how we work, that all looks good to me, especially factoring in the thing from the product security team process, because they spell out the concept of um, selecting people for sort of lightweight duties and vetting them before uh, allowing them to take on full responsibilities, which I think is kind of crucial here. And I think ensuring we have distribution across companies while aspirational isn't feasible now. Um, time zones may be something we can push for a little sooner. And, and I personally feel like a call tree per team that escalates to a call tree for the whole team. This is the approach to take. Okay, that sounds good. So the only other thing I had in this doc uh, was nobody else has this kind of a charter if you look at the other working groups. So I guess we will be the first one. We'll have a charter similar to a SIG, but we are working as a working group. Yes, my, I, so I had something started. Sorry, the internet died or I would have pushed it. Uh, it was going to try and drop it all inside of the, the security audit team and a couple other people have a bunch of extra content in their readme. So right. we could go that route. But I do feel like because we all feel it's important here that having a thing that we call a charter is fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, so unless anybody else has any other things, we can switch back to the next item on the agenda. Okay. Okay. So uh, I think it's time for us to get something uh, where we can try. We need a GCS bucket. Uh, we need a utility cluster for the publishing bot. So I'm combining the next two items, right? Um, so if you look at uh, the utility cluster for publishing bot, um, uh, there is uh, some detailed requirements from Stefan. Uh, in the doc uh, above um, things running under things running elsewhere. So that's one. 
we so basically we need to run something uh, so the second one was brandon phillips uh, wanted a, uh, to run a bot so we have two bots which need a home so i think it's time that we get a cluster where we can try things out and get these bo bots running um okay. how easy is that is it to do that uh, tim uh, jeff uh, I mean, turning on a cluster is pretty easy. Um, I would like, well, let's assume that we have a volunteer that isn't me, uh, that will make time to, to do this in the next week or two. Um, then uh, I would just like to see a proposal for how we want to um, govern the cluster. Like what do we want to set up in terms of RBAC rules and how do we want to invite people to it and what is the scope of it? Uh, do we need a regional cluster? Do we need uh, HA? Do we need multiple clusters? You know, global replication. What, what are the? What do we think the requirements are? Um, I can. I'm happy to share what we're currently doing and use that to inform where we can go from there. Uh, I think we can clone what you are doing right now, but uh, just for these two bots, it doesn't need HA. It doesn't need global stuff either. Do we? But I think I think what Tim is suggesting is we should make some decisions around what we're doing. Like the, both both of those use cases, both the, the publishing bot and um, uh, the security bot that Brandon's running, they're running right now. Like there isn't there isn't necessarily like a time crunch. Like we need this in a week, but those are both two very good candidates to move and identifying the like identifying the dependencies. That they that they would need, which I think are very, like, they're very simple, but they have like basic dependencies, and they have a credential for um, GitHub that they need to manage, right. and um, like th th those kind of pieces. So identifying what they need, how we're going to manage the cluster, um, are we going to use like a tool like Terraform, or are we going to just you know use gcloud commands, like whatever our procedure is for standing up administering the cluster. Are there any naming conventions that we care about right now? We can always go and fix some of this stuff later, but at least having a base framework to do that would be helpful. Um, uh, the question there is, do we want to prototype and then write it down or do we write it down and then we try it out? I'm happy in either direction. I, uh, if it's on me, it'll take a while because I'm just only able to allocate a small slice. Uh, if somebody else is going to proceed here, I'm happy to grant a uh, cluster, whatever the appropriate uh, IAM roles are to somebody who wants to sit in and play with it um, within a sort of a time box because I don't want to spend all the credits on, on prototyping. But um, uh, that was a joke. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, nobody we, laughed. Uh, no, we won't mind that much Bitcoins. <laughs> it's, it's too early or too late. Um, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it needs somebody to own it. And honestly, I think moving bots over is probably not the simplest first step. I think the simplest first step would be to move things like um, GCS web over, which is a pretty dumb stateless application, but it means we can set up the patterns for namespaces and RBAC and network policy. And like, what are the things that we want to put into this cluster so that as we add more stuff, we have confidence that it's a safe thing to do like this is we're effectively running it as a multi-tenant cluster with trusted but not completely trusted parties right right i mean that's how we should be treating it i think yeah yeah um so, sorry, i'm i'm i'm, I'm reluctant i'm reluctant but i I'll, I'll say i'll volunteer for in two weeks this will be the one action item that i can take on i'll write i can write up a proposal for how and like at least the base framework of like what the cluster will be named, how it'll be stood up. I can write, I can get something basic down so that we have something to try in action. And I'll, I'll get that out for review sometime before next meeting. Right. Uh, so uh, Tim, can you give credentials to Christoph and Christoph will, the action item for Christoph would be to come up with uh, uh, a concrete proposal using GCS web. Sure. Uh, I'm Christoph, why don't you ping me um, separately on Slack or something after this and uh, we can talk about what 
credentials and what address to add. And um, I can tell you a little bit about what we've currently been doing, although it should be pretty obvious the GCS web YAML is already checked in uh, in the Cates.io repository. So. Yeah, that the, the second part is what I'm more interested in. Honestly, I could probably write up a proposal without the credentials just yet but, and get everybody to give a thumbs up before we actually run the run the thing. But um, yeah, uh, the, learning what we're, what you guys are doing today and any like intricacies that would be that we should mark down is important. All right, cool. So let's talk afterwards. I'll happy to brain dump on you. Okay. So, Sounds good. So in that, in won't that take context on, uh, on what we're doing today, I think I saw Ben add his name to the attendees list. So I feel like that's something uh, Ben was maybe supposed to one page. Maybe we didn't get there this week, but that's something I'm happy to work with Ben on in terms of illustrating what are the clusters we have today? How are they set up? Why do we think that's a good idea or a bad idea to follow? Things like, do we trust namespaces? Do we trust different secrets to different namespaces? I would think of the case, for example, where if we have quote unquote separate teams for like DNS versus GCS, should the credentials used to access those things be considered safe if they're in secrets but in different namespaces and we are back the teams such that they can't do those namespaces? Or does this lead us to consider things like a cluster per team or a right. cluster per concern? Wobble so I think wobble. those are the biggest concerns. Um, so maybe uh, we need a smaller group chat on, you know, Slack or something is probably fine with, uh, you know, Ben and Aaron is who, who you just said, right, Aaron? I, um, yes, I think I will volunteer Ben into this as well. Okay. Let's just so, say something. So Ben and Aaron and Christoph and I can talk about uh, what we're currently doing and what we think works and what we think doesn't. Um, and it honestly, it won't be a very long conversation to start with because we're not doing that much. Um, and uh, then we can let it run from there. And um, I'm happy to let somebody else tell me what they think we should do. Yeah. Can you just make sure you take notes? That, that sort sure. of thing. Yeah. Well, it'll, yes. it'll be on Slack, so it'll be logged. Okay, good. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then a similar request for GCS buckets. I think uh, Nader and uh, Justin are itching to get going uh, on uh, APT Deb uh, at least. Um, and uh, there is a straw man proposal from Justin um, and uh, Nader was writing up one, two. Nader, I haven't seen yours yet. Uh, but the idea here is uh, there is something that we currently use um, for APT and uh, RPM repository. Um, so we take that, we model a, a, a similar thing and then start using it for cops. Is that uh, what you guys were talking about, Nader? Um, yeah, pretty much. I, I, I still need to check that there's consensus in SIG cluster lifecycle. Um, I, I posted a, I'll post a link in Slack to, actually I'll put on this doc what I've started. It's not that much um, being focused on cluster API AWS this week. Um, but yeah, I hope you have something more complete once I've talked to various people. Okay. okay. So at least from my side, uh, what I want to do is I want to mirror the existing APT repository into a GCS bucket and yes. see if it, uh, uh, you know, and uh, try some testing and make sure that, uh, you know, some of the things that uh, we are able, we want to do, we are able to do. Um, yeah. So that would be the first step and then uh, do some automation with the uh, the K release uh, and see if we can push uh, stuff to this new bucket. So that's the kind of uh, experiment that I would like to do. Yeah, uh, I need to check everyone's on board with that latter bit. Um, right. I think some people might want to use Bazel all the way, uh, et cetera, so I need to get some consensus on that. So I spoke a little bit to Justin yesterday and the biggest thing that I see um, coming if we start moving things, well, when we start moving the, the um, apt and RPM and that naturally leads into GCR and sort of general GCS downloads, which we have all of, um, is mirroring. Uh, like it doesn't make sense for us to host all the COPS binaries in, in uh, GCP since the vast majority of users are in Amazon. Um, we would be spending a lot of money for, for no good reason. Um, so A, we have to get some sort of coordination with folks at Amazon who are willing to uh, fund the storage there. And I guess they have been doing for a while, but it's not a permanent situation. 
Um, and B, think about how mirrors and data integrity and those sorts of things are going to work. Um, I guess I vaguely understand how mirrors work for app repositories. I have no idea if there's any concept of like integrity and mirroring with Docker registries. Yeah. I also just have a, a dumb high level question and I apologize if this has been discussed before, but since we're talking about things like apps, uh, is this anything that we're planning on doing uh, prior to getting the 113 release out the door? So are any improvements no. we're working on intended to be? No, all right. No, no, we, I okay. don't want to put anything in uh, the way of the 113 release for sure. Thank you, that's all I wanted to hear. I'm right, uh, so the one more piece of information here is, uh, I am, uh, we set up a CN dev uh, Slack channel and I've been pinging people about how they're using stuff uh, that we publish in China and they are using mirroring today. Uh, for APT, RPM, as well as containers. There's a few people who have done it. Uh, Alion, uh, there's a few mirrors already. So I want to learn from what they are doing and then up, try to apply it uh, to us, uh, you know, to get started. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my computer to load, but uh, I've, I've already written roughly what that would look like in AWS, at least, because that's what I'm most familiar with. Right. Um, yeah, uh, main issues tend to be around um, consistency in the process of replication. And if you're unlucky enough to be starting a machine during that phase, all hells breaks loose on many memoring systems or apps and off, yeah. I've and not seen a good solution to that. Right. So, and the uh, other uh, twist to this is um, Justin wanted to do the DNS smart resolver stuff as well, and he's willing to uh, do the heavy lifting there. I don't know what that it'll look like, but uh, you know, Tim, you might have a better idea of that. Um, I spoke with him a little bit yesterday about this. Uh, it seems to me to be somewhat ambitious. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not a hundred percent sure that it is worth the energy, um, but it might be. Um, but I asked him to really think about first, first is correctness. Like how do I ensure that, you know, when somebody references, uh, a file, whether it's an S3 file or a GCS file or whatever Ali clouds, uh, storages or, or whatever our friendly Chinese mirrors are that they get the file that they intended to get, um, I, I have only the vaguest notion of how that works in established things like apt, which require, which require custom clients. Um, I don't know how we would do it with general like HTTP downloads. Yeah. So, you know, we let, let leave it up to him to explore that area. Uh, but then we would at least set up the infrastructure for the buckets and then we let him think about the smart DNS stuff. Fair. Oh, and just another thing. I'm talk, um, we're talking to the people at Puppet Labs to talk about how they're doing their stuff as well. Um, they've done a lot of multi-arch, multi-distro release stuff for their packages as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, so ba uh, so basic ask here, Tim, is uh, we need a GCS bucket that we can try stuff. Um. Is the goal, sorry, is the goal to store things as tests just to try out different techniques or is it to, to actually store stuff in a permanent place for now? Uh, just to try just stuff out stuff. at this point. Yeah, I think we should point, um, and if we can maybe reuse the AWS stuff that we use for CI right now, right now for testing, um, that would uh, also be so let what? me explain a little bit more, right? So what I want to do is I want to mirror the stuff and I want to be able to use Cubadium to stand up a cluster using just the stuff in the mirror without using any of our infrastructure. So we, so I know that this is the set of things that we need uh, eventually for our community. Okay. I'm happy to create a, a bucket and I don't know that much about how GCS permissions work, but I can look into them and um, should we, uh, who, who's going to be the contact for that? Is it you, Dims? Uh, Nadir, uh, do you want to be the contact for this? Sure. Okay. Nadir. Uh, okay. Can you, um, are you on UK time or are you in US? UK time. 
Okay. So it's already Friday night for you. Maybe we can talk on Monday. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, ping me on Slack or something Monday uh, and we will uh, figure out how we can create a bucket and make sure that you have access to it. Cool. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, then uh, Ehor volunteer to run a doodle poll uh, if anybody has suggestions on when they might be available. Um, so you can have a limited doodle poll rather than a full doodle poll with all alternatives. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer having a limited doodle poll. So yeah. please, uh, please send your suggestions to the meeting notes or DM me and my plan is to kick it off on Monday since it's Friday night for me as well. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, you want you want those notes in this doc or where? Oh uh, yeah, this doc is fine. We don't need yet another doc. You just want people to add their best times. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or just DM me, whichever is whichever is better for you. Right. If you don't hear from anyone, uh, you just make up your own times. <laughs> okay, so you'll have some limited options. Really yeah. limited options. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know the people here, right? So it's uh, right now it's uh, UK, Europe, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. East Coast and West Coast. Uh, over a period of time, I'll, I'll try to get other people from Asia also, but then it'll still work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I noticed that Hippie Harker, Hippie Harker is uh, yeah, he's as well. He's Friday is not a good time for him. Yeah, he's yeah. in New Zealand. New so. Zealand, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, doodle let's, let's doodle works time. really great for these sorts of things, by the way. All right. And I apologize in advance. I may be one of the harder ones to schedule. Right. Uh, so the other question I had was, okay, uh, we already talked about it. SIG testing uh, will hold the keys for the rest of the infrastructure if anybody needs that. So we leave it to them. Um, we don't have to worry about that. One less thing to do. Um, any I mean, one... One, one like AWS, again, maybe we don't have to answer it today. One AWS curio is that is SIG testing doesn't know anything about uh, billing for the AWS accounts. CNCF are the only entities who do. And I just uh, want to understand at some point how we're going to make sure who's responsible for generating reports and, and you know, tying the link between like why we're spending this money and what we're spending it on. Agree. Before we go too far down the cluster road, I was thinking the same thing. Um, we don't so have it, monitoring, we don't have alerting, we don't have any sort of pagers, and we don't have reports. Uh, I'm a person who set up the billing for our, uh, for our uh, Google accounts, so I can work on that. And actually, Aaron, if you have the similar request for you, uh, uh, for a, uh, for Amazon, I can also do that for suggestion as well, just as an off topic. Yeah, maybe just to have the visibility. Uh, I think like the Google folks who've been running test infra, though we don't have it set up for billing super well today. I'm sure we have a lot of insight there. We maybe have less insight on how to best structure things, to make billing really easy on a per project or per effort basis for AWS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the other one, just looking through the action items from last week, uh, Hippie Hacker uh, submitted something to you, Tim. Are you happy yes. with that? Uh, was uh, he submitted me two PRs, one uh, that was sort of porting up Brendan's stuff and cleaning it up a little bit. Uh, I think I had one or two comments on that. Uh, the other one is this like org mode thing that I don't know about. Uh, and I think it's worth discussing um, the, the PR looked like a proposal to use yet another markup language to, which is not YAML, uh, and uh, to write, to use that to manage our documentation or something in this, in the repo. I'm sort of disinclined to learn another markup language personally. Um, I think text or markdown will work just fine here. Um, I'm looking for other opinions. Is there value in this? I've never even heard of org mode before. Um, so is there value in using it? No, that may have been his brain dump. I don't know. Uh, if he's a hardcore Emacs user, org mode is an Emacs thing. So um, I, if, it's, if this is about proposing we all use Emacs, I am a firm no, <laughs> EI all the way. Uh, but yeah, those, those may have just been notes. I, I don't know. 
I mean, okay. that was the PR though. Like it was just checking it in. Um, so it didn't, okay. I, I was inclined to just say no thanks and let's like reorg docs and stuff into text and markdown. Agree. Okay. Um, yeah, the community has a, a lot of markdown. I think we should stick to that. Right. So then another, uh, you said you should post uh, your proposal during the week. Uh, don't wait for the next meeting. Um, oh, it's already up. Okay. Just up, up a bit. I'll just yeah. post it again. I have to clean it up, sorry. Yeah, uh, just throw it in uh, the notes from today um, so we can go look. Then uh, Ben, uh, the single project, Ben and Aaron, uh, they, they're going to document after uh, a Slack. Yeah, meeting. we're going to follow up on that. I didn't quite get to a like presentable document on that. OK, sounds good. Uh, that's all I had on the agenda. Anybody else uh, want to? I've got a couple of things. Uh, sorry, first of all, anybody who's here should go. Sh make sure you go to the docs page and mark yourself as present if you want it to be part of the record. Um, I have a couple of open to do's on the DNS side. I, I would like to maybe make the DNS flip soon. Um, I appreciate everybody who sent me um, notes and PRs about closing out some of the to do's. Uh, I have decorated a whole bunch of the records with uh, metadata about who owns them, which SIGs and which people. Um, I have a few left that I thought maybe it would be worthwhile to just throw out and see if anybody knows what they're for, or if we can delete them. Um, Gubernator. Gubernator.kates.io essentially redirects to kates.io now. It seems to me like whatever that was is not in use anymore. The, <laughs> so Gubernator is still a thing. I don't know why the redirect is not set up. Uh, Gubernator is a uh, you know the log viewer on App Engine currently. Um, at some point, we'll replace it, but right now it's used pretty heavily. But the DNS name Gubernator.kates.io does nothing. Uh, uh, yes. I don't. Then no, my, go ahead and do it. My fault. I think I intended to make that go to the App Engine app, and then I may not have completed that for some reason, or maybe I was like, so that might. So we should make that go to the App Engine app, or we should at least make it redirect. I think the fact that it's going to just Kates.io is a mistake. Okay, uh, Jeff, can you own that one? Sure. Okay. Um, test dash AWS, test dash CNCF dash AWS, and test dash E2E and test dash GCP, uh, all dot Kates that uh, are all NS record delegations. Um, I don't know what they're for. I don't know who owns them, and I don't know if we still need them. I don't know anything about those. This is related to cops, I want to say. I want to, I, I, I know at least, I think I helped set up some of those, but I don't entirely remember. And I'm not. None of the names resolve. Like there's no, there's nothing at test dash AWS dot Kate's that I owe. I think um, something like, I think tests end up setting up, like there's a different project that, you know, this delegates to a different project, which um, ends it up. It delegates to Amazon actually. Well, okay, so test w AWS delegates to Amazon, but like the test GCE, I think, delegates to a different um, Google project, which tests have access to. Okay. I think. I, but I, I suspect I, it's COPS using it to test load balancer registration and things, quite possibly. So there won't be anything out at Apex, but underneath, there'll be random is, is, stuff. Can is we it make possible a note that somebody can... Justin? I'm sorry? Right. Can we make a note and assign to Justin? Yeah, I'll ping Justin on the test AWS. There's test, good. there's, oh, there's Justin. Uh -huh. uh, do you know what that's doing, Justin? <laughs> I joined one minute ago. Uh, the test- Test-AWS.Kates.io. Without CNCF is the older, uh, that was the one that was used by GCP, tests running in, sorry, tests running in AWS, uh, paid for by Google. Uh, test AWS CNF.Kates.io is the one paid for by, is the CNCF one paid for by AWS. So I can get rid of the test AWS? I will double check, but you certainly assign that to me and I will. Okay. And then the test CNCF AWS, so you're saying that's still in use? That is very that's much still in use. Okay. Can I put your name on it or should I put somebody else's name on it? I need to put uh, a name next to it. <laughs> you can put my name on it. I don't know what, what, it, what it means to have my name on it, but put my name on it, sure. It means that the next person who comes along and looks at this file and says, what's going on here will contact you. Sounds good. Or, or should I put like SIG AWS and just like ping Nishi? 
Uh, no, that's for that's that's more for cops. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there a group, or should I just put your name? I don't think we have a group, so my name will work. Okay. Um, how about? Are, so are we are we using the name test dash GCP for other stuff? Test folks. I just found an email thread when I set this up uh, back in March 2017. Um, it looks like it was related. It was, I think, cops stuff. I can at least send you this thread and we can follow up there maybe, Tim. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Um, and then the last one was test-e2e.case.io. Are we using that in tests? Crickets, crickets. <laughs> Uh, so, because of the uh, the vagaries of Google PII, I can't figure out who owns it. Like, I have no access to the information. To like, I have no history for who we delegated that to, and I don't. I can't tell where it's running. Like, if it's running, does anybody have any context on test EDE No doubt. It's just that we probably want to look because there's many surprising things that have just run quietly and been depended on somehow. Yes. Um, is it possible? Can I get, can I tag one of you guys like, like Ben, since your picture's on my screen right now um, <laughs> to like, sure. just like get grep through the various repos to see if that string exists somewhere. Sure. Tim is dangerous. <laughs> what is the, uh, what is, do you, what is the actual um, test dash E to E? Uh, and presumably it's with .cates.io as the suffix. And it's a, we have a whole uh, zone delegated. So like all I have is an NS record that says somebody else is administering the rest of this domain. So presumably there's a GCP project somewhere that has a zone registered for test edee.cates.io and maybe tests are adding and removing records from that zone, I don't know. And it's delegated to GCP, not about 53. Uh, oh, I don't have that here. Hold on, let me see. Uh, so, Z zone config is case. So just looking at our handy code search site, thanks, Dims, uh, there is nothing for that. Um, okay, and actually it is delegated to Google domains, not to Google Cloud. So uh, I don't, like somebody somewhere, <laughs> I, I have no idea what it is. And test GCP is also delegated to something that Google domains. So like, I have zero information about where that is. Yeah. So, so test GCP, I believe, well, I'll send you the email project, but I think it's, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'm All right. I, have, I actually have an email. I have an email from Eric that mentions test edu.kates.io. So Eric, why Eric. don't you and I talk and we can see if we can see if it's in use. Which Eric? Eric Feta. Is it is Feta here? No, oh, sorry, I thought it was here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I have an email from Eric, so I will I will forward it. Okay. To, you're CC on Tim. I will forward it to you again anyway. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I pinged some of these at the beginning of this whole process and then maybe lost track of them. These are some of the last to dos left in the files, so I just wanted to follow up. Um, Sorry, just as I'm finishing off these notes. So test CNCF AWS is just in. Can you give me like a one sentence description of what we're doing with this? Uh, that is used for, at least for COPS uh, testing, COPS E to E testing. Other people are able to use it if they would like to, um, but. Okay. Okay, and that is in active use. Uh, and test AWS, I'm just going to nuke. Um, and I will give you the option if you want to change it from test CNCF AWS back to test AWS, you can have that name now. But that's up to you. I don't care that much. Uh, I had one more fix me that I wanted to look at. Uh, oh, Gubernator. Uh, yeah, uh, Jeff, you're going to follow up with that, right? Yeah, I'll follow up on that one. All right. Figure out what you want it to do or make it go away. And then, and then I think all my to do's are done from the zone configs uh, and we can proceed with the switch over planning. Um, we want to still set up the, I'm just looking at my notes for DNS. Um, 
we want to run a diff against the two zones and make sure that we understand why they're different. Um, we need to push an image to our GCR and for, for the um, OctoDNS uh, and then just write a few more documentation. Oh, it's the Canary stuff. That's what we were, we're going to do. Um, Hippie was going to start looking at that, right? Uh, and I didn't see that part of it. Uh, I don't think he got that far this cycle. It was the it was the canary stuff in the script to update the canary that that's what was missing next. So if he doesn't get to it, I'll get to it eventually. Um, but uh, I think all the other roadblocks are cleared. Cool. Cool. I had one other thing. If you're out, Tim. Okay. Uh, so back on the charter, I don't know that we ever discussed who should be the chairs for this working group. Um, my proposal would be Dim and yourself, Tim. Um, uh, if you okay. feel oversubscribed, I am I'm happy to take your place as a Googler. I, I do sort of feel oversubscribed. I, I do feel a little bit um, uh, overcommitted uh, right now. Uh, if you can, and not that this is a ton of work, but uh, I'd rather focus on getting myself out of the loop. Um, That's fine. By getting technical stuff done and handing it off to people who care more or who have okay. more Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can HA proxy. Uh, so Dims and myself, any objections from the rest of the group? Any interest from the rest of the group? Plus one. Okay, cool. Plus one Everybody for me as well. Thank you. Dims, we didn't mean to volunteer you. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Dims. I just kind of assumed like you've been running all of the meetings and scheduling all the things and poking all the people. Like, yeah, I'm just calling you what you are. <laughs> uh, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, you know, you know, let it go for like three, four months. Uh, make sure that we are past the initial hump. Then yes. uh, I'm sure we can find other people to take yeah. over. One and on, like I said before, once we get through the conversion process, this should really be a low impact uh, group. We may not even need a standing working group. But I hope that's so. the hope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we'll get there. All right. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, just calling people who haven't spoken yet. Uh, Manjura, did you have anything to report back? Yeah, actually, I'm working. Uh, um, on that image name and repositories part, so probably I'm just finding a place to you know put my repo, uh, proposals. So probably I'll submit um, one of the KAP or something to um, propose names for different repositories and then uh, projects and all. Okay. So, so I have some more time. Uh, okay. Uh, and you will post a doc. Yeah. Okay. Don't wait for the next meeting. Just post it on the Slack channel when you're ready. Or yeah, the so yeah, yeah, I can do that. So I'm, I'm just wondering whether, uh, so uh, do, do you want me to create some sort of a Google Doc or? Yeah, submit Google Doc works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, uh, Justin, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, we, we talked about a GCS bucket for now and, for, and uh, Tim was mentioning that we do have AWS credits for AWS buckets too? Yeah, I think, so I think the long poles are, uh, I, I suggest it's a bad idea to run the same accounts, the exact same accounts. Um, we can, there are like sub accounts, sub billing accounts, but we should figure out the structure that we want. Uh, I, I think we probably want a totally separate AWS account uh, for, uh, for, uh, the sort of locked down account. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we could create a, a totally separate AWS account that is a lockdown account that is a sub billing account of this current CNCF AWS account, which I think would be fine. There's no like uh, a ACL granting. And then we just need a name, DNS name, I think. Um, I'm going to look then at smart redirect, some sort of redirect service. Um, and so I don't know if had you missed the part, Justin, where we, we talked a little bit about that. Um, I'm happy to let you explore it. Um, you know, is it the most important thing to, to get the DNS redirect or like, is it viable to just say like there are two mirrors and you have to pick which one you want to use? Uh, the other thing about the, sorry, it's not a, I, it's not actually a DNS redirect anymore. I don't think a DNS redirect will work because both GCS and S3 require the bucket name to match the DNS name, the original DNS name, not even the C name. Okay. So we do need a 302 redirect. Yep. 
because it only sends the original host. It doesn't send the, um, or it only sends, I don't remember. We might be able to get around that, Justin, with Cloud Font, maybe? Yeah, we could, yes, we could, we could do that. I was, I feel like a 302 service, the other, the other advantage of a 302 service is it would be, we could have SSL. So we would not have to figure out the full root of trust. Like we wouldn't have to get hashes all the way down into everything and it would be much easier for other people to adopt because presumably everyone is adopting, is currently relying on SSL with one or two notable exceptions, I guess. I'm not sure I have a mental model of the proposal at this point. Uh, we, we create bins.cates.io. It's a 302 redirect. Uh, it serves over HTTPS. Uh, it maybe doesn't 302 redirect some critical files like a SHA-1 or a SHA-256 file. Um, or if it, and uh, anyone relying on it, like uh, COPS, should set up a, a sort of fallback list and it should try bins.cates.io and then C names for the buckets. So aws.bins.cates.io and gcp. Hold on a second. Uh, did somebody just change the doc? I just lost access to the doc. I'm just sure taking notes and I now have only read, read only access. Oh, uh, the same. <laughs> same here. Did somebody just take off, take over our doc? Or maybe we're in the middle of a uh, <laughs> internal problem at, at Big Google here. Uh, it could be. I mean, it's Friday. <laughs> it's a great day for a release to go wrong. Sorry, Justin, I didn't mean to interrupt uh, you, but I, I want to capture what you're saying, and yeah, now I can. Refresh seems to have fixed that. Yeah, uh, I opened it, it from my second account, and I can open it. Uh, it's really weird. Uh, so Dim, Dims is an owner, and everybody who has a link can edit the file, so it should be fine. Okay, uh, I seem to be back to be able to edit. Sorry. Okay, oh, I lost all my notes. Damn it! Oh. I can I can explicitly add all the people from this group to uh, to the owners of this file, uh, to to the editors of this file. It would be easier. Okay. Oh. If, um, if some, something will happen with the wide permissions of yeah, the file. I, I guess we're at time anyway. Um, uh, Justin, you've got this proposal, right? Yes. Also, Bins is a deliberately bad name. I yeah. chose the worst name I could think of in the hope that someone would come with a better name. That's it. <laughs> uh, the good, we can have C names, so yeah, that's it. Should, we should definitely have that in there. <laughs> Okay, so you sent this proposal. Everybody that's, that's quite apt for uh, for like the canonical location. Everybody who cares about this should go read the proposal. The and the three hundred two redirect basically means we don't have to like do everything all at once. We sort of have uh, most of the benefits with it with, uh, and we can set up TLS. But tools can sort of gradually move to making the the buckets canonical. Okay, I got to get out of here. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Uh, talk to you in a few weeks' time, hopefully at okay. a new time. All right. Thanks, Watch Jim. out for the yep. Doodle poll and respond, please. Got it. All right. Okay. Thanks. Happy Bye. Friday. Happy Friday. Bye.